In this video, we're going to have a quick look at the 9 to 1 GCSE Maths Help Book. So here it is. If you want a copy of it, you can either go to the site here, or if you look in the video description below, it will have a direct link. This is the light version. If you want the full version, just go ahead, download it and click here. With the light version, the light version has all of the topics in text and lots of videos. The full version has all of the videos, especially topics that are new to the GCSE. As we look at it now, we have 52 pages. We've got now the topic, some tips and facts, and we've got some examples. If you click in the digital version on the topic, it will take you to the video. Lots of them have these little uh, worksheet buttons. If you hit the worksheet button, again, there's a worksheet on it. Those worksheets are ones that I've made in the past and just added to help teachers and students. So as you can see on here, it is split up as the new 9 to 1 GCSE appears. So you've got number and loads of different topics, shows you how to do everything. And then if we move on, we've got ratio, proportion and rates of change, algebra and so on. So all of the GCSE is here, including some of the, the newer, uh, more challenging topics. And it just keeps going on and there are 52 pages of it. Um, it's taken me an absolute eternity to make and uh, produce all of the work for and the videos. Lots of the videos are new, lots of the videos are ones that were there before, just linked to it. Then if we go through and we keep going and we keep going and we keep going, um, we will come to the bottom bit and at the bottom, let's have a look where we are, there we go, we're coming towards the bottom. It's got now here uh, an index. So if you wanted a topic, all of the topics are here. And it's also got a, um, a what do I need to improve on. So if you're a teacher and you want to give it to your students, I think the best way of doing this is to print it off as an A3 uh, piece of paper and fold it over. So it works out quite nicely with 52 pages, 52 is divisible by four. So it works out really nicely. So you can have this on your desk at school, you can have it at home, you can have it as a checklist, or you can have it as a digital copy. It works quite nicely in terms of uh, being on an iPad. It looks really quite crisp on an iPad if you wanted that in your iBooks or any other tablet device. It works okay on phones, but as you can probably imagine, it's not uh, massively clear because it's the size of a phone screen. Um, so new topics, for example, the constant acceleration equations, on here, the video appears in the full version, but again, lots of information to do it. We got things like vectors. So the aim is that every student has every topic that appears on the new GCSE at their disposal at any time. Um, teachers can use it as homework or just a quick guide if you don't have a textbook at school, or you can use it for revision. So loads of different ways it can be used, and hopefully um, it'll provide a nice free resource for everybody to use. So there is basic introduction to the help book. If you want to go straight to the site, you'll locate it off the site. As you can see, the link is at the top here. But if you want the direct copy, which can be either uh, saved as an iBook or a PDF, just click the link that's in the video description.